They are survivors of the nation's worst mass shooting, alive today because of blood donors. Jeff, Ilka, Brian, Tony, and Angel each sustained devastating injuries the night of June 12, 2016, when a gunman opened fire on the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. All of them suffered from gunshot wounds, leaving each of them in dire need of blood transfusions. I needed a lot. I, I was told I received a lot of blood. I was throwing up blood from my nose, mouth, just everywhere. And I just remember one of the nurses, she held my head and she said, do you give us permission to do a blood transfusion? And I looked up at her and I told her, you do whatever you need to do to save my life. I was shot nine times. My first shot was in my pinky, in my left, on my right hand side, and out in my back. When I was dragged out of that, the club, you know, I was dragged over glass, so my wounds were cut open, and I was losing a lot of blood. When the Pulse tragedy happened, it put blood donation in the spotlight. There was an overwhelming response from people who lined up to donate blood. When these survivors learned the vital role that blood donors played in their survival, they teamed up with One Blood to thank donors and encourage them to continue saving lives. They're the reason why I'm here, you know, and I'm, I'm going to be eternally grateful for that. We could have the best doctors, but if you don't have blood, there's nothing they can do to help the patient. To know that so many people, uh, helped me, as well as friends of mine and people that I know. It's, a, it's pretty amazing. If it wasn't because of you guys donated, we would not be here. Norman was also injured in the Pulse tragedy, and even though he didn't need any transfusions, he is committed to spreading awareness about the never-ending need for blood donations. You're always saving a life. Don't see it as you're taking time out of your day. Have that moment be a selfless moment that you're giving to somebody else. So, the main reason is for that, for, for just to spread the message of positiveness and, and thankfulness when it comes to receiving blood and donating blood. Life is a crazy thing and you just never know if it's going to happen to one of your family members, one of your kids, mother. Um, I would have never thought it was going to happen to me. We don't have to wait for a tragedy to hit to actually do stuff like this. You know, we need to be on the, on the lookout for one another. This team of survivors is turning pain into purpose and hoping to use their stories to help others and make change in the community. We're all trying to go back to our normal lives, as, at least as normal as possible. But yeah, there's, there's different perspectives. You see things in a different way. Now I start school in May for nursing and hopefully one day be an employee at Orlando Health. They encourage me to go back to school and help other people. I don't let negative things come to me. You know, I don't let it. Because if you let that, you're never going to get up. You know, you're never going to move forward from what happened to you. Every morning I look outside the window and I'm like, wow, you know, thank you, God. Thank you for this beautiful, you know, earth. Like people take life for granted sometimes, and they don't know how lucky and blessed they are to be alive. Their new mission is to spread love, hope, and to inspire the community to share the gift of life with others by donating blood. For One Blood, I'm Stephanie Zorn.